Hey guys, what's up? It's me. He might be epic out here. And today I'm going to be explaining why I think Trooper and Flanker are the best classes in TC2. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> My reasoning is that they're the most well balanced classes and they're easier to play than most other ones. Like, it's easy to have fun as these classes. It takes a bit more, more to be fun with, have fun with everything else. You need to be really good at the game to have fun from a sniper. You need to be evil, you need to be conniving. And easy, good, what about sneaking around and have good movement to have fun on his agent? For these two, you just have to be decent at the game. And even then, it's fun when you're not that good at, at them. Cause you still have to think when you're playing as them. Teleporter going up. For example, you have to uh, uh, guess where you have to use your brain to figure out where your rockets are gonna go when you shoot them. Since they they don't go at normal speed, so you have to actually like project in your head where they're gonna go. Not to mention how soldier in TF2 and and therefore by extension flat trooper and TC2 are both made to be the most well rounded are made the most the most well rounded classes in the game. Flanker her is, is one of the best classes in the game. He's just easier to use than most other ones. It's also fun to play as and against. A problem um, that, or a thing that most other classes don't have. Besides, Trooper. Because think about it. You can't, it's hard to have fun on his agent if you're not kind of good at playing eight. I mean, it's obvious, but for me, it's that. It's harder to play, have fun as a agent when it's hard to even get to the enemy in the first place. Because you need to be like right up to them to do anything. But people spy check. Heck, so it's basically useless to play as agent. Because people will just spy check it and kill you before you do anything bad. And you saw there, these two balance each other out. Because one is extremely strong, but uh, can shoot slow. Shoots slow. Well, but packs punch. One is fast. Has but sh has and shoots fast. But doesn't have a lot of health. Not to mention how they both have some of the best weapons in the entire game. They make the game just more fun to play when you're or up or against them. It also adds some strategy, makes it more fun to play against them. Because like if there's a soul, let's say there's a trooper on the enemy team, you ought to be ready for how you're gonna want somebody to deal with hit them. Like let's say you're a mechanic and they're after your sentry or just any of your buildings in general. Well, that's easy. You get, you can just. Oh yeah, you can just just either move your stuff or just kill them, because they there's one because they both serve different person they both serve bif different purposes. Trooper is better at long range, while Flanker is better at close range. Because think about it, Flanker has a shotgun that has better for her close range fights. Because he has to get to the enemy, but he still has a pistol. In case he's, he needs to fight a bit from a longer range. Trooper, but from a pretty long range and a pretty close range. For one simple thing, he has a shotgun and a rocket launcher. The rocket launcher, you could just shoot it so you just shoot it at something from far away. 
with a shotgun, you can, you can deal with anybody up close to you. So you can deal with both people in front of you and and far away from you. He's good for taking out sentries, so that like completely negates Agent's entire her thing. He can completely negate hit stuff like like Ubers because he can just use his rocket. He can just use the blast of the rocket to send people flying away from the Uber. Flanker can completely deny agents because he's so fast that it's almost impossible to backstab them or trickstab them because they go faster than you can react. Not to mention how. Oh. He can. Not to mention how he also negates. It's the. A marksman because he's so fast that it takes way more skill than the marksman might have to uh, shoot him and get a headshot on him because he moves way faster than everybody else in the game and plus he can just run up to them shoot them a few times and then run out after killing them because it's easier to get up, clo Sorry, up and clo close to somebody to kill them as flanker than it is with agent again. He may he negates agent on the enemy team and on their own team. His agent has to get head up close to kill anybody because they have, have the backstab and their revolvers aren't very good for long range unless you're using the ambassador. Which even then you still need to be have sniper. You still need to better be better at, at getting headshots than a sniper because you don't have a scope while snipers do. So it's easier to do it like that. But with flanker, Three, two, you can sim you can just run up for faster than they it can usually react and kill them before they have a chance. Oh, they got a crit on my nice. And he's dead. So overall. Huh? Flanker and Trooper are the two of best classes in TC2. And that's all for today's video, guys. Stay fresh, cheese bags. Oh. Oh.